Hey folks, another quick video here. Somebody asked me how they can test their Wi-Fi speed or their internet speed. Um, on my system here, I'm going to click on apps. And then once we click on apps, oh, for sorry, I just clicked on Cody by mistake. So we're going to click on to apps. Let's scroll down to speed test. Once we're on speed test, we're going to check our internet speed. As you can see from the box up here, that signal there means I have an ethernet or hardwired connection to my internet. Um, and if it was Wi-Fi, it would display that little Wi-Fi signal up there. I'm paying for th up to 30 megabytes per second with a company called Tech Savvy here in Calgary, which is a reseller of Shaw. I think that cost me 44 bucks a month. That's what I'm paying for. So typically what you do when you're paying for this stuff is you're getting up to 30 megabytes per second. So that doesn't mean you're very means rarely will you ever get that speed, but you're getting close to that speed. So for streaming this stuff, when you're testing um, the Wi-Fi or you're testing the Internet, you really don't ever want less than 10 megabytes per second is the absolute bare bones minimum. Even then on the videos, it's still going to be a bit stuttery. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I personally wouldn't go for less than 30 megabytes per second. As a package, you know, 44 bucks a month is not the end of the world. Testing it again, at 28. There you go. Obviously, the faster the better. If you want to pay for 100 megabytes per second or 50 megabytes per second, you're obviously going to have a better video experience um, because if you're going to come home at seven o'clock in the evening when it's peak video usage time and you test this thing, my 30 megabytes per second often drops down to 18 to 20 megabytes per second because I'm sharing that bandwidth with pretty much everybody in the city who's home right now. So there you have it. Hopefully that you found that helpful. If you did, please like the video, please share it. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or any other videos you want made, just leave, a, leave some comments in the comment section. Uh, and I'll explain to you how to use these TV boxes. Thank you very much.